What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Disclaimer, I apologize. I know this is not my usual video type, but this is something I actually want to talk about. Uh, I'm not a big student of modern music. I don't like the direction that music is going. I'm not a fan of hoes, clothes, and 20 foes. I'm just not into that kind of stuff. I like older music, 70s, 80s music, R&B. You know, back when, when hip-hop was hip-hop, I'm really into, you know, I Kim. I'm really into some of the older stuff. Lupe Fiasco, I like Lupe a lot. Uh, but in 2013, I heard a song. It was called Blurred Lines by Robin Thicke. And immediately, when I heard this song, I knew that this song was copying off of an old Marvin Gaye song. If you guys know Marvin Gaye, you should know the song is called Got to Give It Up. Uh, and it came out in 77. And so I said, wow, this guy is blatantly stealing Marvin Gaye's song. If you guys like Blurred Lines and you never heard Marvin Gaye's song, I'll put a link in the description for another video you guys can hear. Marvin Gaye's song uh, right next or right on top of Robin Thicke's song. You guys can tell me in the comments what you think. Anyway, I let my family hear Blurred Lines and I let them hear Got to Give It Up. And everybody was like, oh, wow, this is definitely, you know, this guy's stealing Marvin Gaye's music. And so back then in 2013, I was online. I was looking to see if anybody was filing lawsuits against Robin Thicke, you know, claiming copyright infringement or what. And uh, it appeared that Marvin Gaye's son was actually the one back then trying to file a claim. But, uh, you know, more money in Robin Thicke's camp. So they were able to dodge that bullet. So I thought it was over until now, until right now. And I'm pleased to announce, this is actually on Variety.com. Blurred lines, jury orders Pharrell, Robin Thicke to pay $7.3 million to the Marvin Gaye family. In a landmark decision for the songwriting industry, a jury in Los Angeles has ordered Blurred Lines songwriters Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams to pay $7.3 million to the family of Marvin Gaye for copyright infringement. In the high-profile case, Gay's family had argued that the 2013 smash hit Blurred Lines copied their father's 1977 song, Got to Give It Up, and sued Thick, Williams, and Clifford Harris, a.k.a. T.I. The three had sought a jury determination that the song was not an infringement, and the Gay family filed a countersuit. Quote, right now I feel free, end quote, Marvin Gaye's daughter, Nona Gay, said after the verdict. Quote, free from Pharrell Williams and Robin Thicke's chains and what they tried to keep on us and the lies that were told, end quote. The attorney for Gay's family, Richard Bush, will also seek to halt sales of Blurred Lines and said he will file official paperwork by next week. Blurred Lines nominated for Record of the Year in 2013. It was a pretty big song. They made a lot of money. Uh, and But the, my thing is this. You can't just do that to people. You know, Marvin Gaye's dead. He can't protect his legacy. He has children. You know, if it, if it was your dad, how would you feel? I know a lot of guys and girls out there are big fans of Robin, Robin Thicke. You know, he's a talented guy. But when you hear something as blatant as this, and you know that Pharrell and Robin Thicke would have never came up with this song if Marvin Gaye's song didn't exist. There's no way. And so for, for people to use the argument that art imitates art and life imitates life, bullshit. This is pretty much the exact same song. They just regurgitated it for a new audience and capitalized on the money. That's pretty much what they did. I am actually really, really happy that Marvin Gaye's family gets to see some of that revenue. That uh, Robin Thicke and Pharrell have to actually pay that back. Because what they did was really wrong, really shysty. And I just wanted to chime in and let you guys know what I thought about it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Did Robin Thicke and Pharrell steal Marvin Gaye's song? Is it just art imitating art? Do you think that he did anything wrong? Do you think that this judgment was justified? Leave your comments below and let me know. As always, thanks for the support. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.